Hi guys, it's Lee at Custom Hearing Solutions in Omaha and Lincoln, Nebraska. Um, today I want to talk to you about a topic that is kind of a mystery in the field of audiology and hearing loss. Um, it's ototoxic medications. So obviously we're a society that's very used to taking medications. It doesn't matter if we've got a sore knee or an infection. We take all sorts of medications and sometimes we don't realize all of the side effects that are associated with them. So today the topic is about ototoxic medications. And what ototoxic medications mean is it's toxic to the ear. So there's a side effect associated with the medication that's damaging to the hearing, um, the hearing anatomy, the cochlea. Now, there are several things that can cause hearing loss. Um, this is the type of hearing loss that's called sensory neural hearing loss. The, the culprits that I wanna talk about today are the most common ones. I'm gonna read off a list here. So right off the bat, aspirin. I know it, aspirin. Now, you don't have to worry if you take a baby aspirin a day or something like that, you're going to be fine. But aspirin in high doses where you're taking eight to 12 pills a day can be very ototoxic for you. Another class of drugs is non-steroidal anti-inflammatories. So that would be things like ibuprofen, naproxen, other uh, drugs like that. Again, taken in small doses, they're usually okay, but when you take them consistently or consistently at a very high dose, you can start to have some issues with your ears. Um, another class that I want to talk about are certain antibiotics. Um, there's no real one culprit on this. It's really important though if you're starting an antibiotic to be paying attention to the changes in your body, not just your hearing, but all over your body because uh, they kind of affect everybody a little bit differently. And then the last one I want to talk about is cancer treatments, chemotherapy and radiation. So all of those drugs that I just talked about, there are all of those treatments that I just talked about are very, very well known to cause hearing loss. Now here's the thing with that is when you have hearing loss that's caused by one of those drugs, just getting off the medication will not fix the problem and allow the hearing loss to come back. You won't regain that hearing loss. The type of hearing loss that's happening there is permanent. And that's why it's really important to pay attention if you're on a new medication and you're noticing some changes in your ear or your hearing to go in and have a hearing test because we can typically identify based on what your audiogram looks like and an audiogram is the hearing test results if it's something that's um, being caused by an ototoxic medication. At the very least, what we can do is we can get a baseline score, bring you in in a couple of weeks and identify, okay, yep, there is a big difference here and, and we need to start drilling down and figuring out why that is. Because once you get off the medication, it won't bring your hearing back, but it won't cause the hearing loss to progress as fast for you. Now, there's usually alternatives and we work very closely with your doctor when we identify a hearing loss that's being caused by ototoxic medications. So you don't have to pick or choose one or the other. Um, just kind of a neat topic that I wanted to talk about today. There are more medications. If you feel like you've been having some changes in your ear or your hearing and you've either changed medication, got off a of medication or on a new medication or just changed doses, give us a call. The number is 402-515-9028. We'll get you in here. We'll do a very thorough hearing exam and we'll make sure we're not causing some permanent, da permanent damage that cannot be reversed. Hope you guys have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.